Can I burn a joke here? That that fucking milkshake joke? I'll burn it. I don't have that many uh, listeners. I'll still probably do it on my special. I don't give a fuck. So here's a little tease. Kind of like when you see a movie trailer. This is kind of a bit I'm doing on my uh, my special. This is what my girlfriend did one night when I was driving home. This is how much they manipulate, or as I call it, lie, to get what they want. I was driving home, and I was looking at this fucking, there was this diner. And I was driving home, and it was late at night. I was like, you know, hey, you know, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to get one of those milkshakes. And you were just like, oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when you do. Fuck you, it's hilarious. Uh, Let's not forget, at the end of the day, my job is to like make those people laugh. Okay, Nia, you don't understand. These people work hard all week. <laughs> These were Americans. <laughs> they need to come out and forget about their problems. No, whatever, I, I don't have, what am I, Mel Blanc? I got one fucking voice. Mel I do. Blank. Nice, uh, nice reference. Yeah, I watch nice cartoons, reference. really? Right. Is that all it takes to impress you on a first date? That's how you ended up with me. <laughs> he knows who does the voice of Bugs Bunny. This guy's a keeper. I think this guy will be able to provide. Have you ever told that story? What? The first night that we ever like hung out. When I hooked up, we'll save that for another one. Okay. But you got to you got to tell me, huh? Hmm? You had to be impressed with my skills. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes. You see that they just won't <laughs> give it up. This guy was fucking cock blocking me on an Olympic level. He saw I was going to hook up. He actually tried to split a cab with you. Yeah, I know. On the way home, and I got around that. Yeah. Got around that. What happened? I fucking put the cards. I went all in, just like World Series of Poker. I went all fucking in. <laughs> she she was trying to be all coy with the little Sammy Davis Jr. hat on, trying to play all hard to get. Huh? Thinking you were dealing with the sophomore in fucking college? Like I didn't have any fucking lines? All right, all right. Yeah. When that douchebag kept coming over, cock blocking me, he invited. We were, we were all set. I was hanging out. I'm going to tell right now. We were hanging out, right? Me and this other dude. And all of a sudden, Nia shows up, right? And I can, I can see the vibe. I see the look on her face. I know she wants it. No. I, I don't know. I just, you know. And we had met before. So. Shut up. You look great. You came up. You had a nice big smile. And you're being flirtatious. And I immediately liked you, right? So you went to the bathroom. You're with a friend. I'm with a friend. Every guy knows what you're supposed to do. Take that fucking battle axe out of the picture. <laughs> okay. Take one for the team. I can't remember who the fuck you're with, so if it's one of your friends, I apologize. Yeah, not a battle axe. Um, whatever. All right. A uh, war memorial. Um, <laughs> so what is this fucking – he goes the opposite route. I said – you went to the bathroom. I said, listen, I'm really doing well with this girl, all right? So, uh, dude, he, I, I had to like – he was like be a your, chick. Be your, be your wingman is what you no, I had to be like, so if I'm not paying attention to you, don't get upset. This is how like female this dude was, right? So I fucking – this is what he ends up doing. Okay, the fucking guy ends up as we're going to leave, you know, I'm thinking, okay, he's going to try to peel off with uh, your girl who's not a battle axe. And he just goes, he invites another dude over and goes, hey, you guys all want to get something to eat? Remember? Yeah. And remember? And he invited us over. Now we're sitting there. It's me, you, your not so battle axe friends (laughs) and three other fucking cocks are sitting there and I'm trying to hit on you. Yeah. And he keeps jumping in. And then he goes, hey, Nia, where do you live? Oh, I live up that way. You want to split a cab? Right. Remember that? I do. And I had to be like, no. No. No, you didn't. It was over at that point. I, had, I made the move. Remember that? I said, are you at least? I, but before he fucking said that shit, he was doing everything. I remember I didn't have any cash, and I pulled out my credit card. I said, you guys just give me the cash or just put it on my credit card. And he goes, oh, he's just trying to get the miles. <laughs> remember that? Anything could do to make me look like a shithead. No. no, no, everyone gave no, me no, they gave me money because I didn't have any cash. You paid for mine. This is how I got you. That's what you was sitting there, and I said, look, are we at least going to be able to split a cab? Because I wanted to go over and have a drink with you. Right. And I was yeah. like, at least we be able to split a cab. And then you're like, why? Why do you want to split a cab? <laughs> Just putting up the roadblock. And that's when I went all in. I said, because I want to kiss you. Bam. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then that was it. I didn't fucking talk to you after that. Yeah. Yeah, you sat there with that little stunned look on your face. Then what happened? Then we walked you outside. Really then, like then, then, then we right walked now. out. That was the shit. That was one of the greatest. I, I used to, the fucking guys like that used to always get me. I fucking nailed that. Stuck the landing. Like a male Mary Lou Retton. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what the best part was? Then I stood up. We all, and, I, and at that point, I was like, fuck it. I said what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. All this shit is in. I don't need to talk to her anymore. And I sort of peeled off, right? 
And then everybody got up to leave. And then you kind of tucked me on the shoulder and said, don't worry. She goes, you said, like, don't worry. We're going to split a cab up time. And then I'm like, oh, this is going to be great. Because now I'm in and now I'm going to get to watch that little fucking cock block get his balls knocked on the, on, the, on the fucking sidewalk. And that's what happened. He came out, right? He clapped his hands. Remember that? Came out just like this. He was just like, so, you guys ready to go? Yeah. And you were like, uh, yeah, actually, we're taking a cab. And he was, and he was so in cock block mode, he still didn't know. He's like, no, I, I live right near you. Yeah. And you were like, listen, we're taking a cab, <laughs> and we're going uptown. And you leaned over, and you said it. And then that's when he realized that everyone realized he was a cock blocking douche. And then what did he do? He goes, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, he just fucking peeled off. Yeah. Huh? Then what happened? My, my other fucking classic line? Boy, I fucking reeled you in was a masterpiece. Fucking masterpiece. Then we got in the cab, and you said, I thought, uh, I thought you were going to kiss me. And we yeah. fucking driving like a maniac, and I go, I can't. The, the cab's jumping around too much. I go, I'll kiss you at the first red light. You just really trying to, like, right? drag it out. You were trying to make this whole, like... I was fucking seducing you, and it worked. <laughs> right? Then we hit the fucking red light. Yeah. I put one on you. you Bam. Right? Couldn't feel your fucking feet. <laughs> I'm going to make this story last nine hours long. And then you know what happened? Then I sat back and I was playing Mr. Fucking Cool again like I'm fucking Walt Frazier in 1972. Oh, the callback to the Knicks from an hour ago, right? Then what happened? We stopped again and I'm sitting there looking out the window and you go, it's another red light, right? Oh and then we, God, and then. And then we heard that cheesy saxophone from every fucking sexy movie in the 80s. <laughs> right? And then you were going, I'm not going home with you. I'm not going home with you. Now, whenever they say that, guys, you know they're not going home with you. You know that shit. So what you have to do is you have to constantly make them feel like it's safe and they're in control. So before, actually, before you said you weren't going home with me, I felt your vibe. I knew the deal. So I just said, listen. I know we're not going home together, but I'm really having a good time with you. I'd like to have another drink with you. All right? I know a nice bar. Ba 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 ba, and bam. Right? And I did not go home with you. Uh, you didn't go home with me. We had like fucking eight more drinks yeah. and made out for like the next five hours <laughs> in that fucking Hell's Kitchen bar. Had a yeah. great time. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So there's a little story, people. There's your little backstory. 